The doors outside may be locked, but the celebration of life abounds inside the walls of Pilsen's National Museum of Mexican Art. I look at an altar almost like a family tree. And all these little things, that intricate things that just kind of like remind us of those, those, uh, those moments and those stories in our lives, right? When we had these people around us. poignant walk through time marked by photos, box mementos, and candles lit in memory of those who once walked among us. Belongings that, that were part of your family, and it could become a very emotional moment at the time because you, you go back to in time and you remember. The Day of the Dead is a deeply rooted tradition for Mexican families, and for many, one that has hit home particularly hard this year. We have a, a ticker here kind of taking count of the lives that we that have unfortunately passed away. The CDC reports that Hispanics have seen a higher rate of infection and nearly five times the rate of hospitalization compared to non-Hispanics. The Little Village neighborhood is going through some major uh, effects right now with the pandemic. We know that that's a community that's been affected highly. They have high numbers of people with cases in, in Chicago. Woven in among the altars and artwork, is a quiet tribute to those impacted by COVID-19. Here we have some pieces done by uh, printmaking artists from Chicago. We have these people that we, we kind of forget about who's bringing and putting food on our tables. And the numbers are extremely high in the farms and in the fields where people are, are picking food on a daily basis and vegetables and, and they go to work knowing that they have the, the, they're infected, but they understand also that they need to work because of the, the responsibilities at home. Dia de Muertos reminding us that in the end, we all share the same fate. The beginning of life and the end of life. And for those still here in this world, to keep those who passed alive in spirit. Most importantly, you continue to tell their story and you continue to remember it. You can see the entire exhibit yourself virtually online. They're also posting special virtual workshops. You can see all of that through the end of the month. We will post a link on our website, wgntv.com.